I'm entering a new stage of the game here. I'm just finishing an MBA in Aboriginal Business and Leadership. Um, and I'm also running federally. And I can tell you, I'll be honest with you, the kind of thing that I get told is, is she tough enough? How many of you have heard that? You know, I'd like to know what is the root of that question. Is it just intimidation? Because I think it is. Even now, even after having been elected four times, even after having earned my third degree, uh, having had three children which I homeschooled for six years, I'm still, I'm still thinking, am I tough enough? And I would, what I guess what I would like to say is, when I worry about that, that my first instinct, my go-to place, is to say, wait a second, who have you helped today? Who have you phoned and said, what can I do to help you? It's so important, I think, to get outside of ourselves. I, I, I really find, sometimes feel, all of this self-help can be oppressive. Someone over here, I think, I think said, well, you know, have I made enough time for me today? Have I meditated? Have I done yoga? Have I eaten the right things? Are my children fine? It's all fine. It's all fine as long as, as D.H. Lawrence would say, only connect. If you think about what you can connect with or who you can connect with, it always is strengthening and pulls you up into who your authentic self is. I am a risk taker. And by that I mean I have learned to trust my instincts. I don't like the sinking feeling of doing something that I don't think is right. Uh, or that I, not just isn't right, the Mohawk word for justice means how does right, how does what is right come into being? So it's not just the end that matters. It's the how to get there that matters. And I feel very strongly that we are the how, and that we are able to be on the high road. Whenever it's tough, just aim higher. Not higher for to achieve something. Higher to be yourself and higher to honor what your friends and your neighbors uh, and your colleagues are as well. Um, I hope I answered the question. I found this to be a very difficult topic. And uh, the only way to handle the notions of authenticity, which really is where power and image all extend from anyway, is to have the faith that uh, y you are the only person who's you, and people are fascinated by that. And if there's anything I can do for any of you, uh, please call me, because I don't think, um, I don't really think about where I'm going. I like to think about where we're all going, which is why I'm public service. Um, and I wish you all the best, and I thank you very much for the privilege of speaking to you.